Food, drink and clothing. These are some of the aspects of daily life that we'll be looking at in this lesson about Sparta. Food and drink. Sparta was a productive agricultural region. Many crops were grown, such as wheat and barley. Sparta also ate meat from sheep and goats. These also provided milk for dairy products, such as cheese. Spartans also kept pigs for the table. They had a soup made from pig's blood. So also in the matter of drink, while putting a stop to all unnecessary drink, he left them free to quench their thirst when nature dictated. So this is a quote from an ancient Greek writer who was talking about the rules Lycurgus had. And uh, so they didn't want to have unnecessary drink, but they could quench their thirst when they needed to. When it came to clothing, they, they had this same strictness or austerity. The same austerity was practiced in regard to clothing. Garments were simple. Because military training took up most of their time, many usually depicted in hoplite dress. So you can see this fearsome hoplite soldier here. He's, he looks tough and strong. He's got a shield on his face and so on. Or he's got a helmet, he's got a sword and so on. But the actual clothing is quite simple and he can move around fairly easily. He can move his arms and legs and he's not being restricted by his clothes. This consisted of a tunic, cuirass and the characteristic red cloak. Youths were given only one garment per year. So the young would have to just last with one garment. Spartan women lived less secluded lives than most other Greek women. They wore garments that allowed them more freedom of movement for their physical development. Some non-Spartan writers, such as Aristotle, were scandalised by the revealing nature of clothing worn by the women. So remember, Aristotle was one of the great ancient Greek philosophers. He was the tutor to Alexander the Great. But he was also an Athenian, so he might have been a bit biased towards the Spartans. And he criticised the, the Spartan women. He thought it was scandalous that they would wear clothing like this, where their legs would be visible. For example, a short tunic worn by the women, which revealed a lot of their legs. So once again, you can see that in the picture here. And Aristotle thought that that was a bit too much. So... But I think by modern standards, most women in Australia could, date, could wear a, a, a tunic which reveals their legs. And most people probably wouldn't think much of it. And um, just imagine what Aristotle would have thought of a woman at the beach just wearing a bikini. He probably would have been shocked by that. So Aristotle was a bit conservative, I guess. Um, but the, the Spartans did not meet his standards. He was a bit shocked by some of the things that they did. But as you can see, they had quite a healthy diet. When it came to food, you now there was meats. There was, there was different food that they had. Um, you know, they had quite a diverse diet and um, it sort of makes you think maybe someone should open up an ancient Spartan restaurant one day, um, although some of it might not be very healthy, like the pig's blood. That probably wouldn't be very healthy.